Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I made a workflow to generate realistic images using WEN 2.2. For this workflow, I am trying the Q6 WEN 2.2 GGUF model, not BF16. The image on screen is generated in this workflow and it looks 100% real. If your system has low VRAM, this workflow also works on a low VRAM GPU. Here is the unit load. You can see I selected the Q6 WEN 2.2 GGUF model. If you have a high-end GPU and want to test BF16, select Safe Tensors model. You can bypass the unit load and unbypass the load diffusion model. And connect the model loaders directly same as a low VRAM setup. So here I am using two loaders that help make realistic photos. One for high noise and one for low noise. I am using the WEN 2.1 4 step LoRa. For this workflow I am not using the default WEN 2.2 high noise or low noise 4 step LoRa. If you try those you may not get the result you want. In all my workflows, I use Resolution Master to set image size and resolution. I explain that node in my Quen image video. You can watch it if you want to learn the node. If I talk about sampler, ETA should be 0.75 and if you want more realism, you can try 0.5 to 0.4. If ETA is too low, sometimes hands or faces break. For realistic environment scenes, 0.4 works well. With these settings, I also get fully realistic images. This workflow runs in three groups. First, I use two sampler nodes with 20 steps each. Then in third group, it enhances the image and makes it more realistic. These three groups fix details, faces and anything that needs to be fixed. Now I'll test the first demo. Let's generate an environment image and here is my prompt. A realistic cinematic photo of a 17th century pirate sailing on a calm sea at sunset. In the first group the images is not realistic. Many details are missing. You can't see the sharks clearly and the reflections are weak. When I send it to the second group, the image looks more intense and realistic. And this is the best part. Phone photos are not super clear, but many AI models make things too perfect. Realism comes from natural light and small flaws. Now we see some reflections and the sharks and seals look right. The ship details feel real. The island and trees in the back look natural and that makes the whole image feel realistic. In the third group, it fixes small details again and enhances a little more. Now the image looks complete. With this workflow, you can make any environment image look realistic. For another example, I have used prompt a couple just off center in a glowing green side street lined with a ramen shop and a vending machine. Here is only one change I did and that is resolution. I generated at 720 by 1280 and I hit generate and as a result you can see in the first group faces are not clear and umbrella is placed wrongly. In second group the mistakes are fixed. Now we see raindrops and the scene looks more realistic like the phone photo in the rain. Sometimes the second group looks a bit soft. But in the third group, the faces, the road, the water and the shop in the back all become natural. 
if you show this to a friend, they may not believe it's generated. The raw details are strong for full body couple shots, but overall the realism is high with this workflow. Next, I set the resolution at 1080 by 720 and I want to test a realistic horror movie scene. And here is my prompt. And I hit generate. And as is result, it takes about 14 to 21 seconds depending on resolution. In the first group, it already looks believable. Wet road, building, light and rusted gate. In the second group, now it looks like a movie scene. Rusted gate, wall, haunted house feel, trees and light all are there. In the third group, it fixes the lighting from group 2 and makes it natural, adds small rusty details and cleans the window glass. The trees and texture look very realistic. Now, I test an old time battlefield. The resolution is at 1080 by 720, which is good. And the prompt is, so as a result, in the first row, faces are distorted. The background castle is weak, flags and shields are there, but faces are broken. If I talk about second group, the castle looks more realistic. Shields have blood, flags appear, but faces are still not fixed. In the third group, the environment becomes very realistic, but faces are not fully fixed. With many people, it's hard to fix every face. And to help it, I changed the resolution at 720 by 1080. And here in the first group, face is still not fixed. Number of soldiers shifts a bit. But in second group, environment stays realistic. Face is still the main problem. And in the third group, faces look better but not super clear. From a long distance, real photos often look like this. So I try increasing the upscaling. Second group steps from 4 to 10. It does not solve the problem and starts to hurt the image quality. So according to me, four steps are correct. Now I move the camera to the back. Instead of facing all soldiers from the front, in the first group, the face problem is gone because we don't see them close up. Now the scene looks very realistic. When an image has many people, change the camera direction. That's simple. You can see the details are good. Castle bricks, flags, armor, shields, everything looks realistic. Yes, this can create battlefield images. With many faces, it can't fix every face, but with thousand, but with 720 by 1080 and the back camera view, many faces look fine and the image is realistic. Now I test a portrait and the prompt is a woman sitting on stairs. Here the resolution is 2024 by 2024. Faces are not always perfect in first group. In second group, the face looks realistic. And in third group, it improves again. Now the image looks ultra realistic. So here is last test of today's video, a fantasy scene. And the prompt is a woman sitting on the crown of an old dying castle. At first, some details were missing. In the second group, the image becomes realistic and alive. Like someone asked a friend to take a photo there. For realism, the environment and lighting look natural. So that's it for today's video. We used WEN 2.2 with Q6 model, not BF16. And it also runs on low VRAM. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thank you. Bye-bye.